I'm Jerry Herbst, and today we're going to drill down to the brass tacks and hard facts of how to set up an inline flow meter to support your testing or evaluation of the handline knob. An inline flow meter. It's a pretty simple device, but there's a couple key steps in its hookup that we'll review today. Primary part of the design is the flow tube. This will go on the intake side of the pumper. Air to support the flow direction, water in, water out. The flow is actually measured by a device called the paddle wheel flow meter. You want to visually check that the flow meter has no obstructions and no teeth are missing. There's a flat spot on the paddle wheel sensor. You want to make sure that that corresponds to the flat spot on the entry into the tube. That'll ensure that the paddle wheel is centered in the waterway, give us an accurate reading. Thread it on, hand tight is fine. There's a couple other components you should be familiar with. Communication cable, which will go from the tube itself to the box, which will give us a reading, and this communicates the velocity or speed of the water that's going through and communicates back here and is converted to a gallons per minute flowing. Relatively simple setup. There's no way to mistake which end goes where. The unit does have a battery. We suggest you charge it the night before you're going to use it. You'll get a full day's use out of it. If you were to have a problem, there is a 110 backup. At this point, we'll have Derek step in and I'll walk you through how to actually set it up on the rig. We recommend that you set the flow tube up on the intake side of the engine. The primary reason for this is you may be testing a cross light here or a bumper line or a rear pull. We don't want to have to continually move the flow meter to support that test. So if we're set up on the intake side, we can pull from anywhere on the rig, water in, water out, so long as he's not circulating or using tank to pump, we'll get an accurate GPM reading on whatever is flowing water. If due to your logistics you have to set up on the discharge side, we recommend that you don't do it right off the pump. The primary reason being is the ball valve that opens the gate will be very close to the paddle wheel in the waterway and we can get a disruption of flow and a false reading. So if you're forced to set up on the discharge side, get that meter somewhere in line between the rig and the item that you're testing. So again, a critical piece of equipment you must have this in relationship to pressure, flow, and nozzle reaction to do an adequate test. This is the go-to piece of equipment in the industry to give you an accurate reading for your gallons per minute. 